Aloha, everybody. Thank you for being with us tonight. A historic day on Oahu's North Shore. For the first time in nearly seven years, the bay called the day. After a false start a couple of weeks ago, conditions were more than perfect for the Eddie Aikau Big Wave Invitational to finally go. With waves between 40 and 50 feet, tens of thousands packed Waimea Bay this morning. 40 surfers from across the world were invited to participate, including, for the first time, six female competitors. Today's big winner, Honolulu Ocean Safety Lifeguard, Luke Shepardson. The bay called the day, and Luke Shepardson answered. I told myself, I'm in it because I can win it. And that's what I was telling myself all day. Super scary. Waves were huge. There's a dream come true to be a part of the Eddie, to just be on the alternate list and then to be in it. And I can't believe it. He answered just like he does when there are calls for help. In the lineup at Eddie's contest, while on duty in the tower, where Eddie Aikau became Waimea Bay's first lifeguard. I'll never be as good as Eddie, but there's uh, someone to look up to and try to, someone I aspire to be like. And yeah, I gotta get back to the tower to make sure everyone's okay until the end of the day. And for the first time in the contest's 38 year history, the Wahine were also dialed in. Andrea Moeller, who in the very first heat became the very first female to catch a wave at the Eddie. It gave me goosebumps just to be the first woman to surf a wave out there. Um, I think it just really brings back all the efforts that us women surfer put out there to, to be recognized, to prove that it's possible, that we're athletes, we, we want to do this. We have the passion for big wave surfing just like the guys do. And there were plenty of epic wipeouts. The swell exceeding the hype for the eddy, which calls for consistent 20-foot Hawaiian-sized waves, whether it be past champions, I always knew it was going to be a, a good, epic day, but this is just another level. Of or rookies. This is the first ADI cow I've seen in person. The last one, I lived on the Big Island and skipped school, watched it online. But first one I've seen in person, and I'm in it, so it's such a dream. And for all, a chance to pay tribute to Eddie and the Aikau family. I'm sure a lot of other competitors feel the exact same. We all grew up with uh, the Eddie Aikau poster on our walls. What a day. Now, this is only the 10th time the Eddie has run since back in 1984. You can see why so many people came out today to watch the pros catch these epic waves.